Good evening. Today we're trying out this new secret beer. Uh, let's open it up and see what's inside. <laughs> oh, yes. So, what do you think's in there? I have no idea. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Ooh, okay. All right. Okay, that Pull that out. weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this is awesome. <laughs> this is... A... That is... Holy shit. Yeah, this is legit. <laughs> this is gonna be good, I can tell. Oh goodness. Yeah. So. I don't know if I call that color good. Real pale, weedy. <laughs> uh, no head at all. No head. Let's see if we can get one going. Yeah, it's not. It's not heady. Yeah. That is, but <laughs> still. Mm. All right. Mm. I can smell from here, actually. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Whew. Man. That's some stank. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Yes, yes, it is. I like it, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a, the smell of a beer. Yeah. For sure. That's good. Um... It's not real. It's not as clear as I thought when you first poured it. No. It's got some haze to it. Got some haze. Got some like really good, nice, fine sediments in it. Pretty evenly spread. Um, yeah. Not heady. I don't know. It's just like nice golden. Yeah, definitely golden. Hmm. Some grass, wheat. Yeah. Grain, whatever they, whatever grain. Grain, yeah. Sure. Not much else. So. Hmm. Yeah. So. Smells like a, <clears throat> yeah, like a, like a heavy wheat beer. Yeah. I feel not, like the wheats usually have a sweetness, and this does not seem to have a sweetness. No. Not in the smell, anyway. It doesn't smell like a Pilsner, though. No. Hmm. All right, so, two. Two, two mysteries? Uh, two <laughs> mysteries, two... <laughs> To uh, Waikiki, to Honolulu, <laughs> to Nice, nice. <laughs> <laughs> to Acapulco, all of those. Ooh, hmm. that's really flavorful. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. That's uh. Man. Hmm. It's got a nice... Is that a Kolsch? No, no, no. It's not. Okay. Definitely not. Okay. Um, I tend not to like them, and I'm yeah. tending not to like this. So I like no, a Kolsch, I don't know. Like, it's... It, it's sort of, like, really watery with, yeah, like, a very... Weird taste. Sharp what, yeah. end, you know? Like, yeah. this one, I, no, it's definitely a... It's kind of wheat beer. It's not real. I guess there's some wheat to it. Um, light citrusy. Um, not much citrus though. <clears throat> it's, it's it's light. It's like it's definitely light. Pulpy, you know, like yeah, the... yeah. Hmm. Hmm. It's unusual. It, it's kind of like a uh, chalky too. Yeah, dry. I guess. I'm not getting the dry, but like just this, this this palpable, you know, like yeah, it's weird. <laughs> it's sort of like like wet chalk with flavor, you know. Oh yeah, last time I had wet chalk. It's, it's yeah, just, just yeah like that's that. that's mm, that's exactly it. Um, so, what do you think it is? I have no idea. I think it's a weed beer. Oh, maybe. I think you know what it is. I don't actually. <laughs> So a Zweikel Bavarian style lager. Um, I, I do I didn't know like where it came from, but right. <clears throat> it's from Urban Chestnut. Oh, um, nice. in St. Louis. St. Louis, yeah. Uh, UCBC. Okay. Uh, man, they they have They're some really fantastic. good stuff. Yeah. Yes, they are. Some really good. Stuff. This does say now that it, it, aftermath, of course, mm -hmm. but the Belgian style that yeah, mm -hmm. the definitely European. Yeah, I'm definitely tasting that now. So this says here, pronounced 
Zweigel. 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 Yeah. The flagship logger of our Reverend series. Parentheses clax, classically crafted, timeless European style beers. Parentheses <laughs> is unfiltered, unpasteurized mm. German style classic. That finishes as a smooth drinking, naturally cloudy beer from the yeast. Prost. Prost. Um, so. Yeah, it's definitely, I feel like I'm at Oktoberfest. Yeah. That's what it tastes like. Yeah. For sure. I'm incredibly a big fan of this, though. Mm. That is fun. No, that's legit. Yeah, that's. That seems I really incredibly into... challenging to pour. No, that's. <laughs> I guess not. Yeah. Or yeah. to drink. Yeah, that's, I like that, though. That's a neat, nice little... Everybody, go to this style, okay? So that that's legit. <laughs> I don't want to be drinking up like a little, you know... <laughs> even the wide mouth aren't, you know, no, like that's, this. That's impressive. That is impressive. But this isn't the... Like, recently I've been seeing this a lot. Really? Yeah. I haven't seen that before. Yeah. Hmm. What no. if that's the new, uh, the new Twisted Neck? Yeah. Twisted Neck? <laughs> that Miller... Their big push is that they had the spiral like yeah. in the glass, which yeah. does nothing. But it, was, it, it, it swirls it. It yeah, makes it pour faster. <laughs> like, have we run out of marketing ideas for being a beer? You lose principle, you know? Like, if, if you funnel yeah. to, uh, to a, a bottleneck, you know, mm. there's less pressure, therefore more flow, you know? Wow, I didn't know you were a physicist. That's impressive. <laughs> or, yeah. I... Or an engineer. I don't know what that would be. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 I, yeah, it's, uh, I totally, uh, you know, saw Star Wars when I was a kid, it's <laughs> yeah. just like that, it's like, it was coming back to me yeah, now. definitely. Speaking of Star Wars, did you see that microwave scalpel? That, that is pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah. So we were watching Hotel Artemis, and Jodie Foster, we, well, eventually the, the femme fatale, uh, yeah. what's her name, Sophia Botelli, or? Niece. Niece. She's niece in the movie. Miss Niece, Miss Nice, you know. <laughs> Miss Nice that was, ass. That was a yeah. perfect little play. Yeah. They made the the assassin. Mm-hmm. That's, that was genius. Yeah, of course. So there's a lot of, there's, you didn't seem to like this movie. I love this movie. <laughs> no, this movie was not <laughs> Niece. No. Seriously? <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. It was not Niece. No. Um. So anyway... <laughs> Uh, Jodie Foster um, has this microwave scalpel, basically battery operated. It's sort of like a, a primitive, um, uh, what do you call it, um, Jedi sword <laughs> or whatever. What do you call it? Lightsaber. Lightsaber, <laughs> God. I'm like, what? I don't even see that. It was yeah. like, just like a heat knife, basically. It was, like it a, was a, a heat flame. knife, yeah. Like, a, yeah. like you're cauterizing. Jedi sword. <laughs> that is... <laughs> Mm, I don't even know what to say about that. I love you, Star Wars fans. <laughs> I was gonna say, you were gonna get attacked for that. Bring it, bring it. The coolest thing is that you see her use it at the end as yeah. a weapon too. Yeah, no, that, was, that was that was that was pretty sweet, pretty, pretty badass. Um, and she she's saying, you know, like, well, anyway, everything goes to shit because you know th- they're in this. Um, criminal hotel. Everyone is a criminal. Criminal <laughs> hospital. So you have to be a criminal and you have to be certified somehow. I don't you know pay. how. You gotta pay your dues. You, you have to have a membership. Yes, but <laughs> also, like, the rules were, you know, don't hurt other guests. Don't have weapons. That's not what happens. Don't Everybody, talk shit to the workers. Yeah. I like that. Stuff like that. <laughs> All hell breaks loose, basically, when the black wolf or, you know... Jeff Goldblum enters the picture, and Miss Miss Nice, uh, the femme fatale, um, you know, f- you know like, s- nabs this uh, yeah, microwave bl- scalpel, yeah, and starts, you know, I don't know why she was really trying to protect herself in the end. Besides, she should have tried to escape. What she does. No, no, no. I mean, she got her job done. She was an assassin. She, she should was. have escaped. She was trying to save the save the man she loved. Let him get away. Stopping all the bad guys from getting him. Oh. Well, it was yeah. her sacrifice to them. Yeah, that's true. And that's she does true. say, like, this. that's all she's good at, is killing people. So she's going to do that. And that's what she does. I don't know. Yeah. She's kick ass. Is that what you're saying? Uh, <laughs> I've seen better movies. Well... 
that goes without saying. Uh, no, I'm not a fan it of this film. It's an enjoyable hour romp? And a half. No. Romp, I was gonna. I was actually gonna say romp. <laughs> no, no, this. No, it was. I don't know. This movie. It was an interesting concept. There was definitely gigantic plot holes and some other issues. I'm just not even talking about the plot holes, like <laughs> all the tr- all the tropes that it tried to break. <laughs> it couldn't break. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, I don't know, man. Like no, it was, I liked it. It had, it was extremely like um, uh, predictable for one. It had all the necessary components for. Um, you know, this big, like, <laughs> sort of social critique without actually critiquing anything. Yeah, I don't think they were trying to do that, though. No, they, they weren't trying to do that. <laughs> but, so. but they were jabbing at everything, you know? Like, yeah. And, it, but besides that, besides that. It was just a good action movie, though. You don't expect anything from your action movies. No, it was not actually I that good of an action why movie. I thought it was. <laughs> like, all the. Okay, so. Let me tell you the reason why okay. it wasn't a good action okay. movie. Okay. okay. <laughs> that alley scene, the beginning, you know, right. it was stupid, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the, like, okay, so they, they shoot, you know, there was a gun, gun fight. Right, yeah. There was a firefight. Right, yeah. Basically, yeah. and it was sort of anticlimactic. It was like sort of something that, was a vehicle to move oh, the movie yeah. along. It was a MacGuffin. It was into just it. it had to do something yeah. to get them into the hospital, of course. And even then, it, it seemed just like, yeah, these semi, you know, supposedly professionals that. No, but I don't think they were. That's what they were saying. The one guy was the brother was the downfall of him his entire life. That's what he said. Yeah, yeah. The other two guys weren't part of their crew. They didn't know anything about them, so they were probably like half-ass guys. They, they bring know. all that up. It's all mentioned. It's, all it, it's, it's mentioned, but like. <laughs> I wasn't convinced. <laughs> it's all explained. <laughs> so that fight, they they kind of lost in a way. Everybody oh, yeah. loses. Everybody loses. Yes. Yeah. Um, the other fights, you know, like uh, with Sophia's <gasps> character, niece's character. Come on. He, I don't know what happens, but anyway, she beats up this uh, uh, Charlie Day's character. Yeah. And he comes back a lot. Everybody, everybody somehow miraculously. Well, that's comes more realistic than people don't die when you punch them in the face. They just get knocked out for a while, then they come back. Well, she was an assassin, you know, like she, she didn't try. She wasn't trying to kill him. She was trying to get him out of the way. It was just annoying. Yeah, yeah, but also there was a, a there was a Dude, nice excuse. Killed by a three D printer. That was amazing. <laughs> that was cool. That was yes. Cool. Um, but I just I loved the a lot of it for me was the <clears throat> not with cinematography but the set design. Yeah. The feel of. Like you said, futuristic, like the yeah. tech and stuff, but in a very like sort of almost forties or fifties hotel. Mm-hmm. It's a, just a really cool combination of things. Yeah, I just, I just, I don't know. I am a sucker for the set design and, and yeah. the look, and the look of that whole movie. I thought was fantastic. They just everybody yeah. how they dressed, the costuming for all of them was really cool. Yeah, believe me, her story with the sun made no sense. And there was no investment in anything she was doing. No, like that, that was that was dumb. That was I dumb. agree with that. That was, <laughs> that, made, that was terrible. I, also, like with with um, uh, Mr. Waikiki's uh, character, or his his costuming. Let's let's start yeah, with that. Yeah, These like uh, soft white shoes. You know, <laughs> I, I've never understood that. Wait, he wasn't wearing soft white. Oh, he was wearing soft white shoes. <laughs> She was. She was wearing soft white shoes. They always show, no, no, they no, she, her tapping her feet. She had sneakers. What, what's her like, face? Uh, Jodie nurse. Foster, the the nurse, Miss Nurse mm-hmm. Jodie Foster, was wearing soft brown shoes. Yeah. Miss Waikiki, uh, Mr. Waikiki, um, Sterling Brown, was wearing soft white shoes okay. that shoes. is gonna hurt your feet if you walk <laughs> on them all day. That professional assassins shouldn't wear. He was a professional assassin. What are you talking he about? He was a thief. Miss Niece was like, she oh, was. you know, like... You, Look what you're... she was wearing. And she, she, said, she said it several times. You're a professional. I am a, what do you call it? I'm the business. I'm the business, you know? Yeah. I mean... <laughs> but she was definitely an assassin. He, she was an assassin. He was more, I think, just a criminal in general. He was, a, he was trying to rob the bank. He wasn't assassinating anybody. She gets her money from being paid to kill people. He gets his money in his own way. 
He didn't want to. 3D printing a liver? How awesome is that? That that's cool. <laughs> Pretty fucking cool. A uh, <laughs> a fucking lightsaber scalpel, you know. That was that's cool, cool too. too. <laughs> that's for the Star Wars fans the, out there. The three D printing of the gun. Awesome. Yeah, but I mean, neat little neat little trope in there. I like that. Yeah, cool. uh, it's like okay, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. That's so, it, it was it, for me. It was just like Pacific Rim. That is that movie. It's really stupid, yeah. yet I still love it. It's monsters and robots fighting each other. It makes yeah. no sense. The stuff they do is making sense, but it's just enjoyable. It's a good way to kill a couple hours. Yeah. Well, the movie wasn't <laughs> even a couple hours. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. So you didn't even kill a couple you know hours. Would it have been better if they both all died at the end? Because I really want them to die at the end. No, no. <laughs> that would have made it better for me. It leaves a, a mystery. Like no, there's the a escape. shadowy figure that... Yeah, the shadow, that was weird. Anyways. I wanted them to go out and get totally hit by the mob and die mm-hmm. and then mob just take over the hospital I think that would have been a way better ending this happy ending I don't think so nothing for the people you know <laughs> I mean this is a this is a criminal hospital <laughs> which for some reason is seemingly like <laughs> underfunded to me because um, yes you got all the cool tech stuff but I mean the decor and like all this right. stuff was I don't know weirdly like well, it was a hotel from, like, the 60s. Yes, but if it's, like, uh, that was a, but It's because it's supposed to be under, like, if it was all, like, fancied up, people would know what it was. They'd be like, oh, what is this place? And go you can have it's cool to tech like, in. I mean... But it was, the way it was hidden, it was supposed to look like an abandoned building, so nobody would go in there and figure out what it was. It's how, all part of the guise of hiding it. Yeah, how better to hide something than bright neon <laughs> lights, you know? Like, that was, I did have a problem with that. <laughs> giant sign, I'm like, really? Yeah, <laughs> that they keep trying, you know, like they keep on trying to turn on. Like, it seems <laughs> I like... I guess it must be a way for people to know that it's still there, that the people can still come or something. I don't know, that I, that I was not fully understanding. I don't know. There, <laughs> there, there are many, uh, <laughs> you know... Uh, what do you call it? Missed arteries, you know, like where they didn't get the right medicine. I don't know something. This, this, this movie was having a lot of bad medicine. Nanocytes. Those weren't helping you. That was cool. Although that was, they that were... was a little. Like they attempted to explain it, but then didn't explain it. So why was that part of the dialogue like, even there? There's a few spots that I think there was probably more to the movie that got edited out because yeah. the entire movie I was waiting for the elevator to break. Because <clears throat> he makes a comment the first time, oh, this thing's on its last legs. Yeah. So I was like, oh, it's totally going to get stuck when the cop's in it. Oh, it's totally going to get stuck when they're trying to escape. No. Mm-hmm. It, like, that was a throwaway line, but I feel like it was a line that was supposed to play to something else that then mm-hmm. got edited. There was a few spots, there was quite a few spots like that, that yeah. I feel like the movie had more to it, and maybe they ran out of budget, or maybe when they edited it down, I don't know. They just <laughs> didn't give a fuck. <laughs> That's what I think, you know? Because even the the end was sort of like... <laughs> haphazardly constructed in a way. It was. Like, oh, it definitely was. Escape and Jordy Foster. So I said they should have opened you know? those doors, the front doors, and all the you can see her face, but all the light, and they should have just had people crushing it. Mob comes in. That's what it should have happened. No, there's no water in there. No, just because they're a violent mob. They don't the, care. This violent mob actually wasn't all that violent. <laughs> did you see? About? Did you see how many <laughs> policemen held them off for the longest time? That was true. There was like. Not even like a that's what happens armed, in riots, armed policeman, you no. know. That's what happens in a riot. Uh, probably fifteen percent of the people give a shit and know what they're riding. The rest are just tag alongs. Yeah, that might I happen think, in American I think riot. That's how all you know, riots but, are. That's no. how Amer- that's how American riots are. The people are yeah. just like, oh, let's go r- fucking shit up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we, we're are. we're gonna show you with our you know moral uh, high ground, you know. What? Yeah. <laughs> who's who's saying that? I think American riders are rioters are you know like a lot more peaceful than um, a lot of. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. It's just... But there's I feel like when there's actually like criminal activity or damage because of a riot, it's not really mm-hmm. because of the cause. It's just because of motherfuckers who want to come out and just destroy shit because it's like a free yeah. pass. Like oh let's go loot something even though they have no idea what the riot's even about. That's always. I I don't know like that they just seem. Kind of dumb, also, you know, like that was a little, it was a little weird. Yeah, I don't know. I just I wasn't convinced by the riding, you know. <laughs> Shooting the planes out of the air, that was pretty awesome. That was cool, but <laughs> yeah. there were so many little cool elements within it. Th- I mean, that was 
sweet to see, but like, <laughs> why the hell didn't the cops like, you know, fucking stamp down on him and and you know like <laughs> use the the strong well, arm of the law? You know, the, I don't know. They're bombing helicopters over the sky. They're that, shooting helicopters out of the sky. Yeah, there's that, people, like, and yeah, that it's a lot. and that doesn't prompt the cops to like, <laughs> oh, you know, we'll just like have, you know. With our line, just have like a well, nice and, okay. two or three cop and arm length, you know, between this is us. This futuristic. Were those cops like Robocops or were they real people? I think they were real people. You think so? They look. They just. Sort it, of cyborg. They had like cyborgy. I was like, I took it. When they. I guess when the first time she went out and they interacted, I was like, wait, are those actually people? Because that did not look like people to me. Yeah. I. I very Maybe strange. we can we can discuss that. That was weird too. Her agoraphobia was weird. Yeah, yeah. there was some weirdness to it. But speaking of weirdness, uh, you know this, you know there there is not a riot, but you know it's a it's a good like peaceful riot. It is. Uh, I'm not a fan of this type like of loggers in general. It's very weird, but it definitely mm-hmm. is like I am having reminiscent memories of Oktoberfest because that's what it yeah. feels like. Hmm. Okay, you drink a lot of it. Yeah, relatively quickly. Yeah. And it's definitely like a German style beer, for yeah. sure. So, so that's the uh, urban chestnut Zweikel, Zweikel, as they call it. 